sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. O God, our Father, we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved thee with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. Have mercy upon us, we beseech thee. Cleanse us from our sins, and help us to overcome our faults. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine indignation, neither chasten me in thy displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul also is sore troubled, but Lord, how long wilt thou punish me? Turn thee, O Lord, and deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death no man remembereth thee, and who will give thee thanks in the pit? I am weary of my groaning. Every night wash I my bed, and water my couch with my tears. My beauty is gone for very trouble and worn away because of all mine enemies. Away from me, all ye that work vanity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my petition. The Lord will receive my prayer. All mine enemies shall be confounded and sore vexed. They shall be turned back and put to shame suddenly. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me. Lest he devour my soul like a lion, and tear it in pieces, while there is none to help. O Lord my God, if I have done any such thing, or if there be any wickedness in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that dealt friendly with me, Yea, I have delivered him that without any cause is mine enemy. Then let mine enemy persecute my soul, and take me. Yea, let him tread my life down upon the earth, and lay mine honour in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in thy wrath, and lift up thyself because of the indignation of mine enemies. Rise up for me in the judgment that thou hast commanded, and so shall the congregation of the people come about thee. For their sakes, therefore, lift up thyself again. The Lord shall judge the people. Give sentence with me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to the innocency that is in me. O let the wickedness of the ungodly come to an end, but guide thou the just. For the righteous God trieth the very hearts and reins. My help cometh of God, who preserveth them that are true of heart. God is a righteous judge, strong and patient, and God is provoked every day. If a man will not turn, he will wet his soul. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. 
He hath prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with mischief. He hath conceived sorrow and brought forth ungodliness. He hath graven and digged up a pit, and has fallen himself into the destruction that he made for other. For his travail shall come upon his own head, and his wickedness shall fall on his own pate. I will give thanks unto the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, our Governor, how excellent is thy name in all the world! Thou hast set thy glory above the heaven. Out of the mouth of very babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. For I will consider thy heavens, even the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him lower than the angels to crown him with glory and worship. Thou makest him to have dominion of the works of thy hands, and thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowls of the ear, and the fishes of the sea, and whatsoever walketh through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our governor, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading is taken out of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 22, beginning at the 20th verse. Go up to Lebanon and cry and lift up thy voice in Bashan and cry from the passages for all thy lovers are destroyed. I spake unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou saidst, I will not hear. This hath been thy manner from thy youth, that thou obeyedst not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when pangs come upon them, come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in travail. As I live, saith the Lord, though Keniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, with a signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence. And I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee into another country, where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land whereunto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man, Keniah, a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock, and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed, 
neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Here ends the lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, beginning at the first verse. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odour of the ointment. Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence, and given to the poor? This he said not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the bag, and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, Let her alone. Against the day of my burying hath she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. Much people of the Jews therefore knew that he was there, and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Here ends the lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord 
who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, Almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We pray to you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill. We pray to you, O Lord. that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offences. We pray to you, O Lord, that there may be peace in your church and for the whole world. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with Saint Mary and with all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us in a moment of silence commend ourselves and all for whom we pray 
the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.